What's happening, y'all? It's Never TD, and I'm back with another video. And I'm back with another video. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. So, I'm back again. <laughs> Hello. Same day. So, I have, um, this is something that I was thinking about. Because I'm like, you know, I know I talk about encouraging you guys and uplifting and stuff like that. But there's other things that I would love to talk about as well. So, I just want to let you guys know, on this channel, I will be covering many different topics. Whatever God puts on my heart. But God downloads so much into me every day. I'm just like, what to talk about today? So, today I want to talk about romantic relationships. And I was hoping that I could give you a few pointers and teach you a few things from what I learned, okay? Now, let me first start by saying, this may not be for all of you guys. So if it doesn't resonate with you, you, you can you can turn off the video. It doesn't have to resonate with you. However, if it does, good, that's a great thing. If you know somebody else that it resonates with, you can share the video, let them know, come on over and watch the video. But here's a few pointers that I wanna give you guys. Um, before getting into like a serious relationship again, here's some things that I think that a lot of people don't talk about before moving on into another serious relationship, especially when you first just got out of one. Now, here's my thing. I always say that. I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all burnt my tongue. If you just got out of a relationship, please take the time to be single for a while. And I know that probably sounds cliche. I know. But it's very necessary. It is very necessary because so many times you get into a relationship and you lose who you are. How many people can relate to that? You lose who you are. Not every time, but a lot of people who don't know who they are, it's easy for them to lose who they are. Um, they, you, you stop doing the things that you used to do. You stop hanging out with your friends. You stop, um, maybe you stop going to church. Maybe you stop reading books. You're so focused on that man or on that woman that you stop doing the things that you do. Okay. And, um, that's why whenever you're, you just broke up with somebody, you should not get underneath somebody to get over somebody. Okay. I was taught this growing up and granted, I didn't take that advice because I already knew that alone time was important. Because most of my life, I've been single most of my life. Like, I've been in relationships, but most of my life, I've been single. So, I know the importance of being alone, and I know what it can do for you. When you're alone, you can get your mind right. When you're alone, you can learn who you are all over again. You may become a new, whole new person. You can develop yourself. You can read books, can work out. You just can develop and become a better person. It's kind of like being in a cocoon before you're a, you're a caterpillar before you become a butterfly. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. So here's the first thing. I got it written down in my notes. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. So don't, okay, just be patient. Gosh. I said no. I'm just playing with y'all. So, um, Ask God to lead you, okay? Here is, this was my problem. And you guys will always hear me refer to myself because I can't refer to nobody else. But ask God first, okay? God, I like this person. It seems like we have chemistry. It seems like we have things in common. What do you desire for this relationship? Do you desire a friendship? Is this supposed to be just somebody that's an associate where I just... We're just cool and we talk to each other. Is it supposed to be romantic? What is it that you desire? And God will give you confirmations, that's for sure. I, I, I'm i telling you that. You can ask God for three confirmations and he'll do it for you. And not only that, he'll confirm it with the other person. Because sometimes God will bring people into your life and it's not supposed to be romantic. Sometimes that is supposed to be a friend. Truly. I know people say you can't be friends with the opposite sex, but you really can be. You know, you just have to have self-control and you don't have to, you know... Self-control. Self-control. Let the friend be a friend. So everybody's not meant to be in a romantic relationship. If you don't believe in God and you don't know anything about God, um, my thing is to you, still take it slow. Don't just jump into something. Don't just think because the first two weeks that everything is that's going great, you guys are talking on the phone and you guys hung out twice that this is the one for you. No, take your time. You know, take your time. Okay, so heal. Okay, take your time to heal. Heal Heal from trauma, trauma from your childhood, trauma from past relationships, and just from people in general. Heal. 
Because, like I said before in my previous videos, if you do not heal, your pain in whatever, however your pain made you become, it is going to pour into your other relationships. It is. There's no doubt about it. It's going to pour in to your other relationships. That's why it's important to heal. If you've been put down all your life and you've always been, you know, people always told you that you're not nothing and you're never going to be anything and you become insecure from that, work on them insecurities, okay? Even if you have to give yourself everyday positive affirmations, speaking into yourself, if you have to watch positive motivational videos, if you have to read books, I encourage you guys to do these type of things, y'all, because you have to feed yourself. You can't just eat. How do you heal? You can't just heal by c coming home every day and watching TV. That is not how it works. That is not how it works. You have to work on healing. And I always say the best healing is God. And if you don't know who God is, I encourage you to get a relationship with God. Go to him for yourself. Ask him if he's real. Tell him to show you something. Tell him to speak to you. Tell him that you you want to you wanna know him, but you don't really understand much about him. You want to know. God will show himself to you. He does it in many different ways for many different people. But that's the best way to heal because God will heal your heart. And you want to make sure you're healed before you give your heart to somebody else. Because the last thing you want to do is give your heart to somebody. And then you hurt them because you're still not healed. You don't want to do that. Okay? So, number two. Make sure you love yourself first. Cha! Ooh, cha! Cha! Baby! Oh my gosh, I wish somebody would have told me this. <laughs> Love yourself first. Love yourself first. And see, a lot of times we don't even know what that means. We, we don't always even know what loving yourself first means. Loving yourself means that you accept the woman that you are, the man that you are. Now, granted, there may be things about you that you have to work on. Do what you have to do. But I mean who you are on the inside, the person that you are. You love who you are. You have to love the way um, that you look. If you don't like the way that you look, you can always change that. But you have to love who you are as an individual. You have to be patient with yourself. You have to take care of yourself. You have to know that you are worthy. You have to believe that you are worthy. You can't let anybody treat you any type of way. You shouldn't let yourself treat you any type of way. Um, sometimes you have to be hard on yourself. To love yourself is to discipline yourself. To love yourself is to uplift yourself. To love yourself is to take care of yourself. To love yourself is to make sure that you treat yourself with respect and don't let anybody treat you any different okay so here's where i went wrong in relationships i didn't love myself okay and like i like i told you guys before in in the the video where i was talking about my parents the first part one if you guys didn't watch it then that's fine but i was basically saying like in relationships i didn't love myself so i was looking for validation in other people Y'all, you can't love nobody else if you can't love yourself. That's the truth. You may not want to hear it. You may not like it. But that's the truth. You cannot love anybody properly if you don't love yourself. You can't. You just cannot. You have to love yourself first. So, that's why it's very important to take your single season and to work on loving yourself. Work on healing Okay, it's okay to be single. Don't think you always have to be with somebody. Don't think you always have to have somebody up under you. You don't always have to talk to somebody. Now, granted, let me tell you something, okay? I, I'm not going to lie to you, okay? I'm not going to lie at all. I love masculine, a masculine man. I ain't going to lie to you. I, I love to be around, you know, you know, just masculine men. I don't know what it is. It's like, oh, honey, child. I don't get no nasty thoughts or nothing like that. But I just be like, ooh, it just feels so good to, like, be around a man, like a manly man. You know what I mean? Like, it feels, it's good. But at the same time, I have enough self-control where it's like, yeah, that's cool and everything. But I want to have that for life. I don't want to just give, you know, have that for a little bit. And then the relationship don't work. And then now I'm single again. I have to restart this process. So the better that you become, the more elevated you become in yourself, you can attract that. You know, and I truly believe that. You know, I truly believe that. 
Um, so yeah, be able to do that work in yourself. All right, love yourself. Number three, take your time. Okay, if you guys have done the work, if you guys have been um, working on yourself for a, a, a real long time, and you have really been self-developed and you becoming a new person you have a new mindset and you really have healed and you're not holding on to the past you're not holding on to what people did to you said to you and you really have a clear conscience and you're ready to date again take your time now who's to say we don't know if you can you can fall in love in a day god you know the, the way god works honey with these people you can be like oh my god god can tell you that's that's the one and you can just fall just know from the time that you meet them then i, I know i'll I'm going to love this person. I don't know why. I just know that may happen or, um, or it may not happen. In a lot of cases, it doesn't always happen like that, but everyone's story is different. But my whole point to you is this still take your time. Be a person's friend. I cannot emphasize that. Be a person's friend. Don't give too much too soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want to get real, real, right? We want to get real, real. Don't give too much too soon. Don't give your body too soon. Don't don't offer to be buying stuff too soon. Um don't just put your don't just drop your life like whatever you got going on in your life for a man that you don't even know. Don't do that. Okay, look. I can only give you examples. I was dating somebody and I liked this person a lot, okay? And I knew from the jump, I already knew, I was like, I'm going to end up really liking him a lot. So I was like doing too much too soon. I was seeking validation. You know, I even, I gave up my body too soon. Yeah, let's be real. Let's be real. I'm, I'm finna just throw it out. I'm finna just put myself out there. I did. I gave up my body too soon. I remember I was offering him to help pay for stuff, to help pay for fines, to help pay for whatever he needed to pay for. I was there at his every freaking call. And guess what happened? Guess what that did? That caused that man to use me. Okay? And this is not every case. This is not going to happen with every single person. But I'm just telling you, you have to really be careful. Because he ended up using me. Because he's like, oh, okay, like, this girl is going to do whatever I, I kind of want her to do. Because she likes me and I know that. So I know that, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, he wouldn't even give me half the effort I would give him. Like, even throughout the whole time we dated. He would not even give me half the effort I gave him. And I knew it was because I went wrong when we first dated. I, I, I moved the wrong way when we first dated. I moved way too fast. I gave way too much. First of all, when you're giving your body too, too early to somebody, at the beginning of something, you're not giving nothing to respect. You're not giving nothing to respect. You're not. If you want a man to respect you, you need to show him that you respect yourself. And I will say, although I did it because I chose to, it wasn't because I felt like, oh, I need him to like me, so I'm going to give him my body. No, I did it because I wanted to. But still, at the same time, um, it still didn't give me a good outcome. You know, I still know that I didn't get as much respect from him because of what I did. And I gave, I end up giving way too much way too soon and I started to care way too soon you know because I started to open up my heart you see I'm I'm a lover I have a very big heart and so the moment that the walls are down just love just pops out I just be I just be ready to do so much for you you know I'm one of the women that I like to cater to my man you know I like to take care of you love you do what you need me to do for you rub your back I'm, I'm one of them women and I just did too much too soon. And I, that wasn't being reciprocated to me. And that hurt my feelings. But I had to realize the mistakes that I made was that I didn't take my time. What I should have did was... And here's the thing. Here's the crazy thing, y'all. He didn't even want to be my boyfriend. He wanted the boyfriend benefits, but he didn't want the title. Okay? So he wanted me to keep acting like a girlfriend, keep doing stuff for him, keep coming to his house. He could be in control of things. But I'm not his girlfriend. And he had every excuse for us not to be girlfriend or boyfriend. But what was the problem? I was the problem. That was my fault. I created that mess. Because I allowed it. I allowed it to be okay. I um, What I should have did was, since, one, I should have took my time. Took your time. Get to know him. Be his friend before I even make 
anything serious. Really be a person's friend. Take the time, spend time with them. Talk to them on the phone. Do different things with them. See what they're like when they're mad. See what they're like when they're frustrated. You need to see these type of things with people so that you can see what type of person they are and you can see if this is a person that's really for you or not. It's good to go through the fire and the snow and the sun just to see what type of person that you're dealing with. And that's why it's really good to be their friend first. So that way, um, you know, you don't have nothing too serious yet. And you can determine, hey, is this something that I really want? Even if it takes a couple months, take your time. Okay? Um, yeah. And I wanted to go back to, like, what I was saying about how it was my fault. Uh, it was all my fault. Like, you know, of course he plays a part in it. Because the, the, the dude I was dating... 12 years older than me. So, you know, he was a lot older. Like, he's in his late 30s. Like, you know, he knows what he's doing. I do, too. I'm in my later 20s. But there's still some things that I have to learn. You know, so he's a little bit more seasoned with relationships than I am. But what I should have done was I shouldn't have gave him my body. I shouldn't have been paying for nothing, nothing like that. I should have not played the girlfriend. I should have not played the girlfriend role when I wasn't even the girlfriend. Okay? Now... I will say that I'm not, you know, I'm celibate. I don't, I don't indulge in um, sexual activity, nothing like that. Um, that's one of the best decisions I had made. And is it easy? No, it wasn't easy, but it's very necessary. And once I realized, here's here's what helped me to really be like, because God has been wanting me to be like this. I was before, and I I broke it. I want to be married, and I want what God has for me and I want a husband and I want to do it the right way this time so that way God puts the right man in my life and we get married and we do it the right way and I want to honor God so now that's my goal um I encourage you guys to do the same to hold off on your body honor your body protect your body don't give your body and another thing when you're when you're having sex with somebody it keeps you connected because when you have sex with people, you become one. So if you're having sex with multiple people, you're becoming one with each one of them people. And your take whatever they have in them is coming right into you. And so that's what keeps them emotions going when you have sex. But if you refrain from giving your body to that person, you can still catch feelings. But they won't be as deep because you didn't have sex with them. Now there's some of you guys that's still going to choose to be sexually involved in I can't force you not to do that. I can only encourage you to do it God's way. But if you choose not to do it God's way, I just encourage you to please hold off. Don't just give your body out. See what the person's about. See who they are. See what they're into. Just don't, just take your time. Don't go too fast. Take your time. Um, I know we get excited and we really want to be with people and we really want to love on people and stuff like that. And we really want somebody. But time is of the essence and it's important um, to take your time sometimes because you want something that's going to last, not, not a fling. Now, some of you guys just want to fling, you know, you just want something that's quick. Okay. That's different when you don't want nothing serious, but if you want to stop playing games and you want something serious, you really got to like be strategic and intentional about how you move. All right. All right. So I got two more. Number four, don't expect what you're not willing to give. Ooh. Ooh, 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 <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't expect what you're not willing to give. Don't expect what you're not willing to give, 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 give. Hey, hey, hey. So many times we expect so much. Like we, we be wanting people to bring everything to the table. And all we have is one little glass, of, one little cup. Shot glass. That's all we got is a shot glass. We don't even have enough to pour into a, a whole cup. But we expect all this stuff to come to the table. So here's something that I hear a lot of people say, and I tr truly do agree with it. Become the person that you are expecting. Okay, so if you want this man to be in shape, and you want this man to have his money right, and you want this man to be kind and be patient and be strong, baby, you got to work on doing it too. Because men are visual creatures, okay? They are. They like what they see. Now, there are a lot of men who are mature and that they want a woman for who they are. 
But they also want to be attracted to you. That's why they like for you to dress up and stuff like that and look good. Because they, they're visual creatures. That's just the way that God made them. They, they're visual creatures. So, be who you're expecting. You, you expecting all this from a man? Or if you're expecting all this from a woman? Make sure that you're becoming that. Make sure you're working on becoming that. You want them to have some money? Make sure you're working on trying to save up. Make sure you're working on investing. Make sure you're working on being smart with your money. If you want them to be kind, well, change your attitude. There's a lot of you guys who have nasty attitudes. And you guys expect for people to wait on you hand and foot with that nasty attitude. And you expect for people just to deal with that nasty attitude. Maybe, let me tell you something today, tomorrow, tomorrow, and today. Everybody's not going to put up with that nasty attitude. Okay? Get your attitude in check. Whatever you're dealing with on the inside, there's a root in there. There's a reason why you're like that. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever root that is, whatever seed was sown in your life, you have to find out what it is, uproot it, work on it. Don't don't be nasty. Don't get in a relationship and start treating people wrong. What, what, what you went for then? You don't deserve no... You do not deserve God's best if you're not going to be the best too. Period. I don't care. You don't deserve the best if you're not trying to be the best too. Okay? If you want them to have, you know, to look nice, work on looking nice. If you got to change your wardrobe, if you got to buy a few clothes, do what you got to do. Be what you're asking for. Okay? Be what you're asking for. And that is many, many different aspects. Okay? And then the fifth thing is this. I should have said this for the first thing, but be upfront. Be honest. Okay? Keep it a hundred. Just keep it real. Be real about where you're coming from. Be real about what you want. So many of us be fronting. We be fronting. We be acting like, no, I don't want nothing serious. I don't want nothing serious. I just want to see what this is going. I just want, and then freaking two months down the line, you start falling for them and now you want a serious relationship. But you weren't up front with it. Let me tell you something. I learned this for myself. It is okay to be honest. So if you know you want something serious, you know that you're trying to look for marriage, you want to be married and you want to be in a serious relationship and you want to have a family, be upfront. If the person that you're dating is like, I ain't going to lie to you, I'm not trying to settle down right now, I don't even want a girlfriend, I'm not ready for marriage, or marriage is not in my, it's not on my menu, that's not something that I desire to do. Okay. They may just not be for you. And, and let's say, they, they could be for you. Maybe this is just not the time. But right now, that's not the person that's for you right now because you guys don't even have the same goals. Your work, you're, you're trying to date with an intention and they're just, they probably just want some cakes for real. They just probably want some cakes. You know what I mean. And uh, they just try and get their socks off and then like, that's it. Um, If that's what you're not looking for, then that's not, the type of person that you want to get serious with, okay? Because they're not serious as well. So if you, if that's what you want, be upfront about it. If you don't want anything serious, be upfront about it. Be honest about what's truly going on in your heart. Truly be like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going for. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to be real. Don't be afraid to be who you are. That's okay if that's, if that's what you want. Everyone may not want what you want, but again, that's okay. They don't have to want what you want. They don't have to... They don't have to because that eliminates the people that's not for you, okay? And you're that and that you're not for as well. So you want to be equally yoked, y'all. I cannot emphasize how, how important this is. If I would have went about my life a little bit different when it comes to the dating scene, I'm sure I would have. You know, things may have been different for me. Maybe um, I wouldn't have been with my husband yet but I would have been more prepared you know what I mean I wouldn't have let so many people in my circle I wouldn't have let um given my heart to people I wouldn't have you know I would know a lot more I would just have moved different if I would have just been real about what I wanted because when you are not equally yoked when you guys are not on the same page it is so hard to like Get along and stay with somebody who's not on the same page as you. Especially if you're a believer and you're dating an unbeliever. Y'all, I encourage you to don't do that. If you want to walk with God and you want to please God and you want to honor God, especially in all that you do, and you decide to date, it's best to date people who love God as well. 
And there's people who are on different levels of, of with Christ. There's some people who have a revere for God. There's some people who have respect for God that believe in God, but that don't really want nothing to do with him. They don't want to pray. They don't want to read their Bible. They don't even want to hear about them, but they do believe in them. There's some people that, that pray sometimes, that read sometimes, and that do want to hear about God. Everyone's on different levels. But you want to find somebody that compliments you because you want to be able to pray with the person you want to be able to worship with them you want to be able to go to church with them you want to be able to lift up other people with them because here's the whole thing whenever you get into a marriage and this is a whole different video and i'll make a whole different video a marriage is not just about romance and love and kisses and stuff truly what god made marriage for was an example of the church in in god so he wants to bring people together to bring more of his people into the kingdom of Christ. So two, when two are together, he can bring more. He can use you guys and, and work with, you know, use you guys to work together. So you guys got to be compatible in a way where you can work together, you know, and you guys can agree on things. Granted, there may be things that you don't agree on. There's going to be things that you guys have different perspectives on, but that's okay. But if you disagree on every little thing, you don't agree on nothing and you guys just don't get along, and you just two different people, and you guys have nothing in common, no type of chemistry, you got to check that. It's really important to be on the same page with the person you're dating. So again, be upfront, be honest, keep it real about what you want. If you don't want nothing serious, keep it real. If you want something serious, keep it real. Don't be afraid to lose people if they're not for you. Don't be afraid. That was always my problem. I don't want to lose this person. I like them. What are you scared of? Are you scared to meet the right one? What if you lose them and God puts the right person in your path? Don't be afraid. So I know this was long. But I hope if you guys lasted this long, kudos to you. Okay, you go. You go. All right, I'm sorry. I'm just being dramatic. But um, I hope this helped you guys. You know, I love you guys. God bless you guys. If you guys have other topics like you guys want me to talk about and I have the knowledge of it, and I'll pray. I'll pray about it. Ask God, you know. We can talk about it. But just know that I'm going to be bringing different type of topics to you guys. Be sure that you guys subscribe. And subscribe to my other channel. It will be in the description below. I love you guys. God bless y'all. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. In my other channel, I do, like, reaction videos, um, challenges and stuff like that, and pranks. So, you know, if you want a little bit of excitement, go over to that page. See y'all. Love y'all. God bless y'all. Goodbye.